Um, can you just tell them a little bit about what you do before an event, you know, like this, or when you're doing a speech? Kind of what you eat, what time you usually like to get to the theater, what you do first. Yeah. Um, you know, just the, the, that that preparation. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, obviously nutrition. When you're on stage, especially when you're on stage for eight hours a day, you know, nutrition is key, right? And your body is key. Uh, at events like this, that's why Tim Adams is here. He works on me during lunch hour because my body is pretty broken up, you know? And so it's got to be worked on to open up my hips and to, so that I have access to my, to my emotions, you know? So I always have that there. Um, it's really hard to be a great speaker when you're not, when you don't, you're not fed, you know, you don't have the proper nutrition because it takes so much energy to be up here that you've got to have the right thing that's not gonna upset your belly too because you're nervous enough as it is. You know, so the nutrition is key, fluids, water, key, my health, key, right? But my warm-up, like Billy and his wife, CJ, were with me this morning, following me along as I was preparing for you guys to get here. So I'm going through the whole warm-up, like the Sacred Six, you know, and they're watching me go through it, the voice stuff, the foot stuff, all of that stuff to get myself ready to go before you even walk in here, marking territory. I just want ownership of every room I walk into so that my audience feels it. And uh, trust me, they feel it. Because you've been in those rooms where the speaker doesn't do that and you're feeling uneasy and you're not sure why. It's because they're not in control of the room. They have no ownership of the room. They're a visitor. They're temporary. Okay? So I really make it my place. And, and then so afterwards, you know, that's all about food and body work too. Like there's recovery mechanisms, ice baths, uh, Tim works on my body, uh, 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 cool downs, rolling out on my body, putting nutrition in my body immediately, you know, proteins and the grains and the stuff that I need because I know, look, and this is going to happen to you. It's going to happen to you. If you speak once a year, do whatever you want. But if you speak every freaking day of the year, you know, you've got to be ready for the next day. The key is recovery. You know, I used to just burn myself out and then just go to the next speech and then burn myself out and then go to the next speech and burn myself out. Well, now I don't do that. Now I have a recovery system in place because the next day is the key. You got to get stronger, better, healthier as the days go on. And if you notice in professional sports nowadays, like when we grew up, in sports, if you ever mentioned the word recovery, you would be, no one would know what you're talking about. That's all they talk about now. Sleep, recovery, rest. What if you brought up rest in the 80s? If you're a pro athlete, hey, rest. No, no. But now rest, sleep, nutrition, key. Got to recover because the next day you got to be able to show up again. And it's very important. I mean, my recovery, like... I'm doing three things at all times in my life. I only do three things, really, in my life. That's how simple my life is. I am preparing to perform. Number one, preparing. Number two, performing. Number three, recovering. And then I'm preparing. And then I'm performing. And then I'm recovering. And that's, I do, that's only three things I do. Because that's what drives this business. That's where I can make the biggest impact. It's the best use of my time. Going grocery shopping or folding laundry, not a good use of my time. Right? It's just not a good use of my time. 